back at it again as you can hear a lot more running because my cousin's back here trying to help us again and what we're going to do is just help him out too because he would like to you know have some knowledge and help with the goats that he got from my dad which is his uncle and he got a weather and then one um billy well actually he's just a buckling still he's small and um i told him he'll need you know like minerals and stuff and he said well if you guys can help me out with that and i'll do we're pretty much going to be bartering is what we're doing you know when we can help we will and he's helping us as we need the help and um, it's I think it's gonna work out great for us. I've got my two cages down That were at this end down here those two cages They're out there, and then I've got to try to get this cage down I'm having a hard time because the screw is in there crooked So I'm gonna try to get it get at it again today I had a little bit of trouble on the one that was down at the end too because it was also crooked and it's hard for me to hold the drill up and be inside there and I don't have much arm power anymore like I used to you know after having my uh, rheumatoid arthritis and everything and it's really just took a toll on me and then he's hand snipping the, the saplings he's doing that too like with hand snippers yeah he's snipping all of those so we're gonna see how far he can go today I was gonna try to go up and show you what my husband did last night I figured I didn't want to bore you guys again with another but he worked for a little over an hour and he got quite a bit done I was really impressed um, but yeah we are just trugging along trying to get the homestead prepared and ready to try to get um, some land bodos down and get the barn moved and get goats done and chickens moved and all that good stuff before snow flies hopefully with my cousin Zach being here we can get that done too on top of what Billy can do on after work and then for the weekends and then maybe we can start getting trees down so stay tuned everybody with my cousin zach mowing you can smell the sassafras that he's mowing over it's just you have that hue of just sweet sassafras smell because all the little saplings that we have in this area of the woods here is nothing but sassafras and he says that he's got a—he's only got about an hour left before he's got to meet his mom at the St. Joe County Fair. Because this is something they do every single year together. They meet up at the fairgrounds and then spend a few hours together. And that's something that I think is very special, you know, for a mother and a son. And then he said he can be back tomorrow and do some more. And I'm thinking, well, that would be great. And then he can skip coming back on Friday and maybe show up on Saturday and help Billy then too. You know, with the two of them working, I think that would be great. We'll see how it ends, but yeah, this is, um, we've gotten done between, he actually, this was a square right here that he's done right there, but Billy got down into here last night, which looks better. So, today is September 18th, I wanted this to be known, my cousin, he just took off, he had spending the day with his mama at the um, St. Joe County Fair, like I had stated earlier. But I noticed that Lancelot's been pretty blabbery today and really following Scarlet around the last few days. Well, today, I actually seen that big boy right there breed Miss Scarlet. And she took, because she hunched her back and sucked it all in. Didn't you, girl? Yeah. Hopefully, you're going to have twins, aren't you? Yes. Say hopefully. Hopefully, you're going to have twins, girl. Beautiful babies out of Mr. Lancelot. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Scarlet out. She's here. I've got a milker. And, um... I noticed that Lancelot's blabbering again. And I'm like, what's going on? So I look through the window, and he's chasing Cal. So I see him jump up on Cal, and she's like walking off a little bit, but still wagging her tail like crazy. So then they got behind a tree, and I can't, I didn't see if he actually got her or not, but she's in heat too. So 
We've got two possibly due the same day, February 18th. That would be Cal and Scarlet, and now I'm just trying to watch to make sure that Willow and Jules maybe will be still today, may it possibly. I would love it that all my dolls kitted on the same day or even the next day. You know, two on one day and two on the other. That'd be great. I'd love it. But I gotta get milking her and then get going on the rest of the stuff I've been doing. So that's Cal right there. and I'm pretty sure he's covered her. Right, Lancelot? You're doing a good job, buddy. So he's working himself, huh? It's hot today. Yeah, excuse you. Yeah. Look at you. Because it's hot out, isn't it? Yeah, because you've just been working your tail off, haven't you, boy? Running between two ladies, trying to get them both bred at the same time. Yeah, and your darn collar is probably choking you a little bit, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I, I can get my whole fist through there, so I guess it's not that bad. He says, ooh, she's letting more pheromones off. You's a hot girl too, aren't you? She says, yes, that would be me. Lancelot, you stink. So what we have left would be Jules. <laughs> and then Willow. That still, I'm thinking, needs to be bred. Since now we actually have confirmation of breeding being done with Scarlet and Cal today. Which is wonderful. So then we just got to wait for Miss Jules here. And then Miss Willow which I did see Lancelot sniffing on Willow, too, today. But she's like, get away from me. She almost looks like she could be pregnant already, but I'm not for sure because her belly's quite large. But, again, I, I don't know for sure. But I thought I would update you guys some more. Quit dicking me, girl. Kind of just... I gotta grab my bottle here. It's trash. So I was telling my cousin, you know, um, with the rabbits that I'm going to give him for part of his work that he's doing. And then we are going to build him cages. Him and I are going to build cages out of my pieces from my cages that I've put together. So he can have cages for his rabbits. So... The one I'm going to give him, one proven mama anyways, is Miss Ruby here. I think she would be awesome for him. Miss Ruby right there. And I told him that she is a wonderful mother and she is. She's She has wonderful babies. And I said that we'd keep a female out of this batch. I'd give him the two. And then I could give him a male out of there or out of the batches up there. Anybody that's not related because these are Darius babies here, which is why I kind of said about him keeping it, because I know Darius's babies are just amazing babies. So, Miss Ruby will be going to a new home, and then one of her female babies here will be going to a new home, and then either a male out of here, or a male from my blues over here, so I was trying to think, I'm trying to stay away from, like, Darius-type breeding. Because he's got the one Darius baby, and then Ruby. So this litter here is Elijah and my Blue Doe. So this would be a, something that he could do. This batch right here is actually one of his daughters. And then this batch here, he could technically, no, because this is a Darius batch. Yeah, that's a Darius batch. So, no, he would have to either get a batch out of this batch, a, a male, I'm saying, or one out of this batch that's up here as a male. This batch right here, one of these, which he could probably do too. These are no relation to anybody. 
that he'd be getting. Because these are Samson babies. And as you can see, we look like, I thought we had a blue in here, but I'm not for sure. No, that one right there though, that one right there, not the one laying down, obviously, but the other one, that one we could definitely possibly think about. I thought it was this one, but I guess it's not as blue as I thought. She just looked bluer. Yeah, look at the baby. And it's everybody resting, huh? Yep, so that's that. I got one more to take off from this. It's this one right here. I got to put this one together, and then this is my next cage to put up. And then um, I got to take this end off. And these are the ends that I was thinking that we could do for my cousin. I told him I've got him three hay feeders I'm going to keep back for him. And these ones I've got, I'm going to put up for sale. But this stuff right here, I got a bunny that's out. A little baby bunny. I was trying to capture it in here, but I don't know where it's at. My husband and I will have to try to catch it. I don't know. I know where it comes from. It come out the middle there. It's a Darius grand baby. But yeah, this is for the flooring, and these are going to be for top and sides. We just got to figure out what to do for the front for a gate. And I told him we could work on that, and I told him he'll need two boxes. He said he can build him some with the wood that he's got at home. Not a problem. I said, great. So we're going to get him all set up so he can live a little easier and healthier is the plan. So with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video because I need to finish doing what I'm doing. And then I'm kind of going to let these uh, other trays here kind of dry off a little more before I try to get rid of them. And they got quite a few gnats in them and that tells me that they're still a little damp. So they're going to be a little heavy for me to try to carry. But with that being said, um... We will be doing good. So thank you guys again for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to all our new subscribers. And we will see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.